my name is Bill Gannon, and what we're going to do, uh, we're going to demonstrate our sump pump barrier. Uh, sump pump barrier is used for containment areas that don't have any way to get rid of water. They use a sump pump. The sump pump automatically goes on as the flow of rainwater goes up. And what's going to happen? We have, we're going to have a water container here. We have an oil container here. And going over here, you see the hoses. And what we have is we have a water hose that comes around from the back and comes in here. Because we're going to do a full scale water and oil demo. So water is first going to come in. It's going to come in through the top. And inside the container is one of our regular petrol barriers. That's uh, 20 inches in depth. So the water is going to filter through that and it's going to discharge through the discharge. Then we're going to shut the water flow off and we're going to actually turn the pump with transformer oil in it. The oil is going to come up. We're going to continue first. At first point, we're still going to let the rain, the water come in and the oil come in at the same time and mix. So what that's going to do is it's going to emulsify the two liquids together. Then we're going to shut the water off and just have a full scale oil spill. see as the level raises inside the pump through barrier we have a discharge area that would actually go back into the oil containment pit so this is the overflow valve and there's also a top on the top so the overflow valve will take any of the oil excess oil and bring it back into the containment area and what that will do is it will just continually recycle until either the pump burns out or everyone in the facility knows that there's a problem with the uh, containment area and they come out and take care of it. So, uh, you're going to see Patrick who's going to be up on top working the valves and John who's going to be down below working the pumps. Patrick is now at the controls. Controls up on top. Patrick, the water control is water. right there. Oil. And then the main shutoff valve is right there. That's fully open at this point. Uh, this is the water below. And John is going to turn the water on at this point right now. And now the water is uh, going into the sump pump barrier. And it'll take a, probably about uh, 20 to 30 seconds before the water starts coming out through the bottom. The drainage through the sump pump barrier is roughly about 30 gallons a minute in this uh, 24 inch diameter. So the water is now starting to um, drain out into the water vessel below. Coming back up. As you can see, the water is rising. Until all the uh, channels open up from the petrol barrier, uh, the flow rate will start to increase as more water goes through it. Then panning down is our transformer oil. And we have roughly about 75 gallons of oil that we're going to introduce into the petrol barrier. At this point, we're going to now turn on the oil, and John is plugging in the oil. Okay, the oil is now on, and Patrick's putting in the oil, and I'll put a little water in there too. Okay, we've got both oil and water going in at the same time. I'm going to just put a, a cover over the top to keep any splash off. So there's a good mixture of oil and water. And now Patrick's going to shut the water off completely. And we're going to just let the level of oil go into the barrier. As you look down here now, the water is still crystal clear. 
So no oil is going in, but the flow is already starting to decrease. Coming back up to the barrier again. Okay, now, if you look at the overflow, the overflow is now going back into the container. The water flow coming out of the barrier is slowing down considerably. So as you can see, the water is still crystal clear. <clears throat> the oil is still returning back into the containment area and the oil is still being pumped. So right now we've got a continuous cycle. And what we're gonna do is now we're gonna shut the oil off and then monitor the discharge water for any oil sheen. It's now been uh, 20 minutes since we started this test and you can see that uh, we just have a small amount of water coming out. I'm going to put the uh, our clean container underneath. As you can see, um, we just have clear water that's coming out at this point. Take a look at the water and the water is crystal clear.